Hey everyone, welcome back, and today we're just going to have a quick look at uh, programming a KST servo. In this case, this is X10 Mini, and many of the KST servos are programmable, which makes them very convenient for setup purposes. And I have this uh, basically programming tool, uh, they call it tool number three. And uh, all it does really is just set the center. It doesn't really adjust any of the parameters. At least I don't think it does. So it's really easy to use. So I've already installed a KST Mini Servo in this uh, Liberty that I'm building. And uh, what I'm going to do is plug the tip into the center panel. And I have the center panel. The, uh, the flaps are, are taped up here. So we know that the flap is centered. So I'll just go ahead and uh, try to get the tip panel uh, assembled. Just see which way this goes. Like that. We'll put the uh, tip panel into the center panel like this. So you can see uh, that uh, I, I've centered the servo on the tester and it's a little bit off center so we'll fine tune it with the um, programmer get this tip kind of off the bench a little bit like that so you can plug in a um, 6 to 9 volt power source to this right here so I'm just going to use a 2S uh, lithium ion receiver pack that I have and you can see those lights blinking right there and then let me move the camera so maybe I'll move the part so you can see the tester and we're gonna plug the servo in to the side of the tester and the uh, outputs are marked so negative positive signal so we'll just Plug that in, and the servo kind of moved to the center that uh, it was programmed with. So I'm going to uh, hit the enter button. And we're going to use the, the knob here. And we're going to dial that servo where we want it. And it, it's really fine movements. And we'll just line that up and that's looking pretty good and we'll hit enter again and that's really it so uh, just to verify that what I'll do is unplug the servo and the battery and I'll get my uh, old tester here old faithful plug that into the battery see right here Turn the tester on, and I have an extension here that I use to plug the servo in. So we'll plug the servo in, and hopefully it won't move. And if I zoom in on the surface, the servo tester is plugged in, and our surface is basically perfectly centered. So super happy with that. Again, really easy to do. We'll do uh, the flap as well, so you can see it one more time. Okay, so we can um, center the flap servos now. We get these lined up using our uh, programming tool. And one thing I wanted to mention is that uh, if you had a servo with a pulse width of 760, you could use this button to um, switch from 520 to 760 so that's another feature uh, I guess that's something maybe helicopter guys would use I've never messed with those kinds of servos but uh, so we'll do these um, flap servos again they're X10 minis so I'll plug in the battery to our tester here or the programming tool and I'll plug in the first servo the tool. This has a soft start, so it's going to slowly go back to its center position. And what I'm going to do 
is measure the flap because um, I don't center the surface uh, of the, f I don't center the flap with the wing uh, for the flap setup because I want an offset because we want way more down travel than, than up travel. So I'll just measure what this is in millimeters and I'm just going to try to match these measurements. So this one is 38 millimeters and we'll try the other servo and this one is 36 millimeters. So what I'm going to do is lower this one to match this guy. So we'll go back to this servo. And oh, before I do that, I wanted to point out that um, this has a limited range of adjustment. So you can't install the servo totally off, like by 50 degrees, and expect it to fix that with this programming tool. And just to show you that, I'm going to go through the full range of motion on the programming tool here. So I'll zoom in on this surface, and I'll just wind this up as much as I can. Let me hit enter first. So that's max one direction, max travel one direction on the programming tool. and max the other direction there. So maybe it's like 10 degrees of adjustment either way you can use. So let me go back and I'll measure this one more time. Thirty-five, a little over thirty-five. Measure that, so we gotta go up on that. A little more. A little over 35. Okay, that's pretty good. So all I'm going to do is just hit enter. And that locks in that center. And again, we can uh, verify that with uh, your radio or a servo tester. So, get my servo tester here, plug in battery. Turn it on. Make sure it's centered. So now when we plug the servo tester in, the surface shouldn't move from where it's at. And it doesn't, so that worked out great. And just to show you the throws I'm going to try to accomplish here, I want full down flap and just a little bit of up aileron, which is what we're getting. So that's that's all perfect. Okay, yeah, so once again, I highly recommend this little tool if you're using KST servos. You know, for the price and the performance, KST servos are, are pretty great. You know, you can spend uh, $100 on a similar servo to the X10 Mini and not be able to program the, the centering. So really fantastic this tool is not very expensive I want to say it's like 50 bucks or something servos under fifty dollars again you could spend that much money just on one servo of a different brand I've had great luck with KST servos so again uh, you can do uh, up to two servos at one time if you wanted to you can adjust the center about 10 degrees either way uh, the input voltage is six to nine volts and you can switch between 1520 and 760 uh, on the pulse width so all right, I hope that guy that I hope that helps you out. 
um, just a quick video today. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.